Hi, my name is Larry Jordan, and this is an excerpt of a recent power-up webinar covering faster editing inside Final Cut Pro 10. In this excerpt, we're in the middle of editing an interview, and where these two clips touch, I want to trim them using the Precision Editor. By the way, we have a new subscription service. All of our online video training, tutorials, and webinars are now available via subscription. This includes both Final Cut Pro 10 and our brand new Adobe Premiere CS6 training plus our Autodesk Smoke training. For one low monthly fee, you get streaming access anywhere, anytime via the internet. Plus, subscribers can attend any of our live webinars for free. This is a fast and low-cost way to access all of our online training. For more information, visit LarryJordan.biz slash subscriptions. Double-click the edit point. It opens up the Precision Editor. The Precision Editor allows me, here it is, allows me to compare the out of the first clip, that's the top, with the in of the second clip. And as I drag back and forth, it goes to a two-up display. Now that two-up display is determined by a preference setting up here in Final Cut. See where it says Show Detailed Trimming Feedback when you're in the Editing tab? When that's checked and you're in the Precision Editor, as you drag one clip back and forth, you're going to be able to see the two shots. Now let's just preview this. The internet. The thing is that we want... Now I've got to bring that back. And there's a keyboard shortcut, shift question mark. What we're saying is that we want to standardize... Okay, so we're almost there. Let's just back that up a bit. And no, that's not what we're doing. What we're saying... Okay, now, up arrow. By the way, to get back into it, double click it. To get out of it, just press the return key. I got a little carried away there. Let's preview, shift, question mark. Secretary extension of the internet. And what we're saying is... Okay, almost, except I'm getting just a piece of the and. So let's select that edit point and type period. That trims us one frame at a time to the right. Comma trims us a frame at a time to the left. Shift comma trims us five frames left. Sorry, that's 10 frames. Shift period shifts us 10 frames to the right. So comma, one frame left, shift comma, 10 frames left. Period, one frame right, shift period, 10 frames right. And let's just play that again. Shift question mark. What we're doing, what we're saying is... Now let's press the return key, see what that sounds like. ...of the internet. What we're saying is that we want to standardize... Okay. Now what I'd like to do is it's a little bit tight. Extension of the internet. What we're saying is... It's not bad. Select the position tool. And let's just grab the position tool and drag the clip a little bit to the right. Like maybe three frames. Now when we play it... Planetary extension of the internet. What we're saying is that we... Much better. I don't have to have these two clips touch if I'm going to cover it with B-roll. I'm much more interested in the rhythm of the voice to make sure that it sounds like it's a believable pace so you don't hear the edit go through. So I'll use the position tool not constantly but a lot, especially when it's being covered with B-roll, to make sure the pacing between the first clip and the second sounds like the way they would normally speak. And to learn the future of the internet, you'll have to see the entire webinar. This has been an excerpt of a recent power-up webinar on faster editing inside Final Cut Pro 10. For the complete version of this online training, please visit our store at larryjordan.biz store and look for Webinar 81.